Hello, everybody. We have returned for another episode of Saving Throw, in which we are going through our wonderful adventure through the city of Saraz. Now, our gang has managed to evade the bandit attempt on their goods, and at this point, they're taking a little downtime while being inside of the inn slash tavern of the city of Saraz. So, Let's go around and reintroduce our characters super quick. Our names, our characters, and one fantastic or one highlight of your adventure so far. All right. <laughs> How about you? Okay, I'm Mason. I'm playing uh, Coric, the half elf cleric, and uh, I like to wear armor and heal people. No, what was one magnificent uh, moment that happened in your adventure? Magnificent moment? Uh, I haven't had a moment to shine yet. So I'm gonna say I run I say on it's sand when really you good. took that shield, oh, yeah, and you yeah, took that blow, the, and you clocked that rogue across the face. Yeah, yeah, that was, one that was hit. pretty dope. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's Ivan's thing for you, but you can have another. I one. I can right. have as many as yeah. I want. Right, sorry. Uh, I'm Benjamin Dunn. I'm playing Garthok, the Droken of Crag Rock, a dwarven <laughs> fighter. Uh, the best highlight for Garthok is when he ran to go get one of those rogues, and he leaped heroically over a horse and tripped and fell on his face. <laughs> and lay prone and didn't actually, the, the most badass character didn't do anything in that fight whatsoever. <laughs> that was a tough hurdle to get over. Yeah. Yeah. But then I carved up that horse and I'm currently eating it. Right. Yep. So. My name is Amy Borfall, I'm playing Denida Stormblossom. She's a half-elf half druid with an animal companion, an ape named Hope. Um, and the highlight for her is when Hope successfully did a little minstrel dance and tipped a hat he didn't have <laughs> to the, the barkeep, which, or the innkeeper, which convinced them to let the ape stay in, indoors. <laughs> Oh, what? Minstrel dance. It's fine. Yeah. You're fine. Uh, <laughs> don't worry about it. We'll cut that out. Yeah, at least we'll cut it on the delay. No one was listening. What? <laughs> um, uh, I meant to say oh. vaudevillian. There you go. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt. No, I no, no. You. no. Yes, all women. So what's your character's name? My character's name is Spud. My name is Tyler Rhodes, but my character's name is Spud. Spud is a third level human rogue. Um, and he is sort of a shady character. Um, he is 15 years old. He has a, a, an adorable little wispy beard. He's growing out his mustache, but it's like that, that really cool, like long, that's like really long strands. He's kind of putting them to the side, but it's like not all filled out. So he's got some whiskers and, and he's trying to, you know, he gets in the morning. He's making he do with what he's got. Bingo. Right. Um, highlight of the, highlight of the um, campaign so far for our good friend Spud uh, is that time he convinced that bartender he was 20. So, <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy for a 15 year old, but. Dude he totally did it. bought it. He did it, yeah. yeah. Uh, are you finished? <laughs> Can I add uh, 10 more minutes? 10 more minutes, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the floor is yours. Anyway. What's your character name? Uh, my character's name is Steve Firebanks. He's a Verisian wizard. Verisian. Ooh. It's like Parisian, mm. but Verisian. I think spelled differently. He's a Verisian. means something totally different. Mm. Mm. He's Verisian. He's a universalist who enjoys fine wine when he can get it. Um, Thurston Howell. Thurston Howell III. Um, and he has a horse named Mr. Pickles that he saved from the glue factory many years ago. And my favorite thing so far in the game that we have played is um, uh, giving the sugar cubes, convincing Aww. Mr. Pickles. To pull the cart the rest of the way. To pull the cart the rest of the way, because right. he does not like doing that. He's, no. not, he's, not, he's not a war But he is your horse. He is a combat train. <laughs> He's a war horse. He is a, he is a war it's horse. Not meant for such menial few tasks. Years, he's a few years out from being combat right. ready, but he is he is combat trained. <laughs> he's in beta combat right now. In beta combat. Well, he's post. Right. Oh. So we have, um, at the current stage, we had um, three of our companions who were sitting um, talking with the dancers, uh, collecting information about the city of Saraz and some of the happenings that are going on inside of set place. And um, it seems like Steve and uh, well, Spud left. He's gone. He left the tavern because they didn't accommodate his needs. Um, and Steve is currently ready to go rest up and study his spell book. So, I hope you don't mind if we skip you for the moment. Mm -hmm. um, but Spud, what are you doing? Oh. Now that you've left the tavern, what's, uh, what's on his mind? <laughs> um, man on, out on the town. Man out on the town. <laughs> I gotta find another tavern. Um, I don't know where to go. Are there any people out? 
Yeah, there's a few people out. It's still dusk, but people are starting to close up shop. There um, is um, there is a blacksmith. Okay. Uh, who it's he's kind of looks like he's dousing his forge. He's a giant half orc. Ooh. Oh, you know? this is perfect. This is my kind of people. Yeah. All so. Right. Yeah, and then there's um yeah, but that's the, that's like the shop that's the closest next to you. But there are several other places that are closing up for the evening. Okay. So if you uh, want to wander around, catch the sights a little bit. This orc should know what I'm talking about. This is a right. bro. All right. Uh, all right, I'll go up to the orc. Hey, hey, pal, pal. Hey, how's it going, man? <clears throat> he like looks at you. It's like, he's, what do you want, kid? Hey. Does he like douses one of his hot tools? Listen, I got some money to spend, and I'm looking for a little companionship tonight. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that a he looks. He looks at you, like <laughs> sizes you up and down. It's like, you a little young. Why does everybody say that? I'm 34 years old. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Right. Cool. Come on. Well, look, I'm certain you could probably find something around town. I'm the blacksmith. I'm not the brothel owner. For Christ's sake, just point in a direction. All right. He, uh, he, 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 he um, looks up and down his own street. <laughs> like he's deciding where to point the 15-year-old kid to point for the evening. And he goes down and... I'll show um, you how much of a kid I... Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> he finds there, a buddy. temple of ethics. And he, <laughs> he, he, he points you down to kind of like the south end uh -huh. of the, because um, you guys came in through the north end All of right. the city, and he points you down towards the south, and it goes, go check out um, uh, Malik's, not Malik, because Malik is our, is our own. He's go, go, go check out the dingy scrub. The dingy scrub? Ew. Yeah. Why would uh, you want to? You're a peach. I take out a silver. <laughs> It like it like it falls to the floor right as like looks down at it and looks at you as you walk away. Yeah, I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, Crap. That sounds like the worst woman are there. <laughs> the dingy <laughs> scrub? <laughs> yeah. I am not interested in their looks right now. Um, yeah. Head down to the dingy scrub. All right. Quickly. I know we want to get back to the real action. Over right. STDs. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I definitely want to hang out and go to the ziggurat later, but I need to rest. I want I want my blinding gaze back. Um, so I'm gonna go up to my room with hope and sleep. Okay. Is it one of those things where maybe we should rest for the night and then go out tomorrow night? Yeah. Yeah, for it's sure. Up to you guys. Yeah. What do you think, Garthal? Can you stand? <laughs> is, it, is it a good idea to take you out to a fight right now? Garthal. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Where's, where's the black haired one? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna start leaving <laughs> back up. Oh, now on oh, the no. raven haired minx. Oh. All right, <laughs> apologizing to everybody profusely. I'm sorry. <laughs> it takes them upstairs. We're right? care but, of them. So you walk outside, you pass by the butcher, you pass by the baker, baker. The baker you pass by the alchemist shop. Oh, oh. <laughs> failure. Oh. Um, wow. They don't need candlesticks stuff. when they have an alchemist. He yeah. just got the lease recently from the uh, <laughs> candlestick maker. Um, it's a bit foreclosed. And, uh, went, the candlestick maker went into the It's starting to get dark, and uh, um, you, you, you go by the dingy scrub, which, aptly named, it's pretty Yay. dingy looking. It's my kind of place. So, no. and uh, uh, there's just a sign <laughs> hanging a, out. It's just a <laughs> scrub hear, that's really that. dirty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's called moist. You it's hear called the song. It's, it's called the scrub. Na, na, so you hear, dun, you hear, yeah, you hear the hanging at the passengers. We get it. <laughs> <laughs> so you walk into the dingy scrub, <laughs> and, it, and it, it, it flips open, and there are several um, men who are kind of walking around, who are in darker cloaks. They look, yeah. they look like some of the, uh, oh, the, uh, um, they look like some of the, the kind of the working class types that that come in and like go and make gather stuff around, and they've got they've got girls on their laps, and they're talking and they're flirting oh. a right. little bit. And um, the barkeep, who is more of the classic innkeeper type, big round guy with, with a bald head and um, wispy eyes, uh, kind of comes up and he, he, he table looks makes at you. This any comments about my age, I swear to God. <laughs> Sorry, like, okay. What do you want, kid? <clears throat> oh, oh, I'm looking for a little bit of companionship. He looks around. Girls all seem to be tied up at the moment. You want a room at least? <clears throat> um, I'll reach in, grab a couple of gold coins, and be like, um, mm, I'm trying to think of something clever. You just, <laughs> like, failed me. I, I, you look like you're trying to come up with something clever. <laughs> Vagina. <laughs> I have two gold coins for a girl that I want to buy and make love to. 
Oh, oh I'm sure pretty, we're uh, it's pretty up front. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, it's it's not me to tell. It's not me to tell who the girls want to spend time with. It's up to you. If you want to drink, let me know. Otherwise, go make your rounds. Are there uh, any free girls? Uh, no, they're all. Well, I mean, look, you're all right here. Well, have you ever been here before, kid? You know how this works. Oh, uh, this is so Elder hard. <laughs> Might I suggest juggling All right. three gold coins? I'll, s <laughs> I'll sit and wait till one of them gets free. <laughs> oh, oh, you don't want to wait. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, back to okay. our kids. And the other, uh, several, several black men, uh, by the way, what? come in. Oh, oh here. black cloaked men. Black cloaked men, what? and and our merchant comes on in. Hey, this guy walks in and he sits down at a table. You point at him and he looks at you like. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, 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 I just thought of something. This is kind of clever. All right, um, <laughs> when, I'm, when I'm going back to my table, if I I'm going to pass by, you know, uh, a cluster. Find the most disinterested woman I can find. Okay. Easy. Um, I will stumble. <laughs> All of them. I will stumble <laughs> and drop a couple of gold coins. Ah, shoot, shoot, shoot. And pick up the gold coins and be like, oh, man. See if I got any of the attention of the ladies. Okay. And All right. Slip it back in my purse. It's like oh, I'm such a klutz. All right. Well, so much gold rich, lying around. So rich gold klutz. flying everywhere. Yeah. Uh, All right. So you sit down. Uh, we'll, uh, um, how did this small Good thing I have so much more gold. <laughs> yeah. So you sit down, and one of one of the young ladies, upon hearing the tinkling of coins falling down, to like perks her ear up, and she sees the. Um, uh, she she walks over to you and like kind of sits next to you and goes. So where are you from, traveler? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and scene. <laughs> Blackout. No. No. What? No. Nope. You actually want me to say it? Yes. <laughs> I'm from the, no the north. The north. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful place. I hear it's I hear it's oh. gorgeous over there. We as, all fell asleep. So as you have to as this happens, you watch as two men in black cloaks walk in and beeline straight for the merchant. And upon her seeing the two men in robes, gets up and all the girls start to leave. Well, you know. In it, fact, it, both the men walk up uh, and they they all take their dates for the night and start walking up. Where you going, lady? Hey, 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 hey! Come on, <laughs> stay, stay here, stay here, stay here. Let's they, go. We'll, we'll go together. Come on. All right. So yeah. So if, if, that's fine. Do you want? Do you want to like chase after her? Yes. Okay. So you chase after her. <laughs> Man, See, let's miss right. plot. Points. This is the hardest yeah, chase right. course. <laughs> Done. All right. So They're, back yeah. to other tavern with <laughs> other followers. Um, we're all asleep. Uh, uh, yeah. So we're all asleep. Yep. So no, new morning. Oh, uh, so, morning. so it, uh, uh, the 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 cloaks were they approaching? I, I guess I didn't see how that that ended up, right? No. That's no, good. You, all right, no, whatever. You didn't. Ooh, see he's fine. No. So you saw they were walking towards the merchant, and everyone cleared the room. But you went with the cleared room. So yeah. So done and done. That's what I was there for. Screw that guy. Right. Welcome to Saving Throw, Episode 1. I'm Amy. I'm Ben. And I'm Ivan. We've got an entire RPG to teach you guys and only nine episodes to do it, so we'll just jump in. Good? Good. 